Hello, my name is Martha Blackstone. In 2008, the Western Pennsylvania Conference of the United Methodist Church became the first annual conference in the denomination to adopt the intentional practice of dismantling racism as a fifth focus. Assessment tools, changes to how our institution functions, book studies, gatherings, seminars, conversations, resource development, storytelling, celebrations, and activism have all been a part of embracing diversity and inclusion and dismantling racism within our conference. An important part of dismantling racism is making sure that our clergy are cared for through the appointment process and beyond. The Western Pennsylvania Commission on Religion and Race developed the process for walking alongside congregations with cross-racial, cross-cultural clergy to work with and support them before and during new appointments. After working with the cabinet, processes were woven together and a web page with information and tools was created so that a comprehensive model of CRCC, cross-racial, cross-cultural ministry, from appointment through the first year was in place to maximize fruitful ministry together. A group of five individuals participated in 22 hours of training, not including the extensive homework hours. Additionally, they spent considerable hours developing modules and strategies for working with a team of leaders in these churches. They look forward to engaging with congregations in this important work as our conference works to dismantle racism. A model of cross-racial and cross-cultural relationship building can be seen in the partnership between John Wesley, United Methodist Church located in Washington, Pennsylvania, and Christ Church in Bethel Park. Members of these congregations have come together to learn about one another and build a strong partnership for education and advocacy. The work of our anti-racism team is driven and informed by that partnership. We have developed meaningful friendships and a strong partnership for education and advocacy. Activities have included joint communications with state and local officials, book discussions, seminars, educational presentations, and field trips. We believe that through education, we can better understand the sin of racism, and through advocacy, we create change. It is through this group and the collaboration with John Wesley UMC that we have assisted in helping people get registered to vote and to complete the 2020 census. We've also written letters to state and federal representatives asking for support of specific legislation that addresses systemic racism. Education is an important part of dismantling racism. Last October, the Conference Commission on Religion and Race hosted the Anti-Racism Summit with the theme, Towards an Anti-Racist Church, the Intersection of Faith and Race. This three-day conference took place in three diverse settings around our conference. The summit provided an opportunity for members of the annual conference and those from the surrounding areas to investigate the history and nature of racism within the church and develop strategies for implementing anti-racism tools to combat systemic racism. The emphasis was moving from learning to action. A post-summit committee continues on the work begun at the summit by leading summit participants in three areas of development. Regular meetings have begun and are planned for the future to create an ongoing means to develop leaders in the anti-racism work to combat systemic racism. The work of anti-racism is ongoing. We will continue to confront oppressive systems and strive for a more just and equitable church and society. Although the Western PA Conference has made meaningful headway in combating racism, there is always more work to be done. 